So I've had a lot of people ask me what I'm using for this electrolysis to get this rust off of these pieces of old metal that we're finding. So here it is, uh, baking soda. I use a battery maintainer. Some people use a battery charger or a low voltage transformer. I use a battery maintainer. I think I got that at Walmart for, I wanna say 20 bucks or something. Um, you need a piece of donor metal. I happen to have a couple coffee cans around, so I cut the bottom out and uh, I use a coffee can. You can see where it's starting to get eaten up from the transfer there, but now there's nothing wrong with that. And then a bucket. I use this little bucket here and something to hang your item from. So to do that, first thing I do is put my coffee can in here. Put the, this is just baling wire that it's connected with. Your positive lead will go here. Then fill it with water. You put about two tablespoons of baking soda in the container. This container I think is a gallon and a half or so. Um, larger container, you'd obviously want to use a little bit more, but I put about two, ba two uh, tablespoons full of baking soda in here. Then you just take whatever it is you're cleaning up, Hang it off of this wire from the, in the center of your bucket. You don't want it to touch the sides here. You just want it to hang right in the middle. And if it's too big to fit inside the coffee can, you can just use a piece of metal. If you saw some of my earlier videos, I just had the, the lid of the can hanging against the side. Uh, either way, it works. This just seems to work a little bit better. If you're doing small items, it'll work quicker and do a much, much more thorough job. So anyway, that's pretty much it. You put it in, put your water in, your baking soda, put your item in, positive to connect it to the coffee can, uh, negative right here on this piece that goes down to your item. Turn on your battery charger and let it run. Not a whole lot to it, pretty simple. You'll notice after the first uh, six hours or so, maybe less, there'll be a lot of rust. You've seen it in my videos along the top. I'll usually take it out and see how the see how the item's doing and clean the water and then put it back in with another couple of tablespoons of baking soda and let it run some more. So really that's all there is to it. Quick, cheap, and easy. You're into it for 25 bucks and you can clean a lot of stuff with one little one pound box of baking soda, let me tell you. So good deal. If you have any questions, Leave them below in the comments, and uh, I'll do my best to answer them for you. Appreciate you watching. I appreciate you subscribing. We've got something real big coming in September, but I need to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark so it'll allow me to broadcast it live. We'll be at a huge, huge event, and I'll be able to broadcast it live if I can hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. So help me out. Hit the subscription button. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it.